the seventh note of G major, and which is the F sharp, and I play all the notes of G major. I have what's called a Locrian or Locrian shape. Okay. seven shapes, Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, Locrian or Locrian. So it would be very advantageous for you to learn those. Okay, and learn them all the way, uh, all the way across the neck, going up and down. So, you end up with a series of shapes and patterns, right? Now, when we say, okay, I'm going to play in the key of C Lydian, for example, right? What we're actually saying is we're going to play with C as our as our root note, right? With C, let's say C major Lydian, let's say. And but what I'm actually doing is I'm playing all the notes, like Lydian being the fourth mode, fourth, three, two, I'm playing all the notes of G major, but I'm using a, a C chord as my bass. any fourths, any, you know, like the fourth note. You would get that Lydian sound. So the mode is essentially, right, the, the different group of intervals um, overlaid over uh, what would normally be uh, a, um, oh, well, over a chord or over a key. You know, so let's say I'm playing in the key of E major, yeah, like I do in my uh, fooling around thing. Yeah, okay, if I want E to sound Lydian, I have to assume that E is the fourth note in whatever key I'm playing in, and then I'll step backwards. So E would be the fourth, right? So, um, so um, D sharp would be the third, C sharp would be the second, and B would be the root. So I would be playing E Lydian, but I'll be playing the notes of B major. So. Over the E. If I wanted to play E Mixolydian, assume that E, um, in this case what I'm doing is an E major 7 chord, I would assume that E, okay, is the fifth note in whatever key I was playing, because Mixolydian is the fifth shape or the fifth mode, okay, so I would assume that it is, that E would be the fifth, now for E to be the fifth, right, okay, I would have to be playing in the key of A. C sharp E is the fifth in the key of A. So you can step it back down just so you can hear it. I'm doing that as an audible assistant, right? Basically, so I'm not making big jumps and you're going, where did you get that from? Right? I'm stepping down. So assume that I'm playing in the key of A major. So if I play the E chord and I want the Mixolydian sound, I play the, no the notes from the A major chord. can 
intro are other notes in there, right? You can, you can be chromatic and muck around, it doesn't matter. It's just a basis, right? It's, it's really about targeting notes that you would not normally target in a major scale. They are, they are incidental notes, but instead of being incidental notes, instead of being, you know, Normally in the key of E major, you would use um, D sharp, right? But here you're using D, flat and seventh. So normally, if you're playing, you know, in that true key, you would use E as an incidental, and maybe slide up. Sorry, D as an incidental, and slide up to E, a D sharp. Uh, okay, it's been a long day again, and. Um, but in this case, you're really focusing on the D note because that gives it the um, as opposed to okay. So, so if I was to uh, use a if I wanted to play in the key of E Phrygian, right, the third mode, I would assume that E was the third note in whatever key I was playing in, okay, which would be C. So I would play the notes of C major over the E chord, okay. So you can do that in position by. Um, sheet together okay and it's got the seven basic modes and it's got the comparison of each each shape or each group of intervals comparative or compared to a major Ionian scale a straight major scale to, for you to try and get your head around it but just consider that it is a separate group of intervals it is alternate groups of intervals between each of these seven notes in the scale okay um, that's all it really is. Now, it can be a bit confusing to start with, but like I said, if you learn to play one scale all the way up the guitar, which I'm hoping to do one day, um, and you learn those shapes, right, that will help you to play in any mode in any position on the guitar and be fluid, not be stuck in boxes, not be stuck in, you know, in your traditional box playing, uh, but it will allow you a lot of freedom on the guitar because as the mode changes, you will simply assume you are playing in a different major key. And it's a really interesting way of looking at everything. Well, it's been long, uh, but I hope it's been enjoyable. Uh, remember, the chart is at the end. Thank you very, very much to uh, the short one 100 for your comment and for your inquiry. Mate, I hope I've helped very much. Take care.